Valkomna. Today we are going to look at the singular personal possessive pronouns my, your, his, and her in Swedish. They are a little more complicated than their English counterparts, but really not so difficult once you get the hang of them. So first, how to say my. There is one word for this, min, but three conjugations to go along with it. Min, mit, and mina. Which conjugation you choose depends on the gender and the quantity of the noun coming after it. For example, them, which means friend, is of the common gender. To say my friend in Swedish, you would say min them. Epple, or apple, on the other hand, is of the neuter gender, so min changes to mit. Mit epple, my apple. Both the common and neuter gender share the same plural conjugation of min, mina. The plural form of the word vem is vänner, and that of epple is epplen. So, my friends is mina vänner, and my apples is mina epplen. The word for your, din, is conjugated in the exact same way. Din vän, dit epple, dina vänner, dina epplen. Okay, that's not so hard, since they both follow the same rules. His and her might appear even easier. Hans or hennes vän, his or her friend. Hans or hennes epple, his or her apple. Hans or hennes vänner, his or her friends. Hans or hennes epplen, his or her apples. Unfortunately though, that's only half of it. Whereas min and din can be treated as regular possessive pronouns as well as reflexive ones, hans and hennes cannot be treated as reflexive. For example, the following sentences are correct. Jag hjälper min vän. I am helping my friend. Du äter ditt äpple. You are eating your apple. The next sentence is also correct. Han kör hans bil. He is driving his car. However, this statement does not mean that he is driving his own car, it means that he is driving some other guy's car. To say that he is driving his own car, you would replace Hans with sin. Han kör sin bil. He is driving his own car. Sin is conjugated just like min and din and is used for both males and females, but it is only used as a reflexive pronoun. For example, you wouldn't say sin vän behöver hjälp to say her friend needs help. You would have to say hennes vän behöver hjälp. If a woman is eating an apple that she brought to work, kvinnan äter sitt äpple. If the woman is eating an apple that her female colleague brought along, kvinnan äter hennes äpple. So, in short, sin is used when the action is being done towards something that belongs to the subject of the sentence, and hans or hennes is used when the action is being done towards something that belongs to someone else. Min and din work both ways, reflexively and not. Hon hjälper min vän is just as okay as saying, Ja hjälper min vän. So, I hope you've learned something from this lesson about singular personal possessive pronouns. Next time you see someone you know driving, think about whether he or she is driving sin bil or hans or hennes bil. That's it for today. Vi ses snart.